All right, this is Firemate here, and today we are going to create some Star Wars kind of ish looking lasers that actually explode once they hit their target. Um, I made them using a combination of projectiles and ray casts. This whole thing is completely free, no paid assets, because I know you guys like those free goodies. So let's get in and into how to do them. They're not as simple as some of the other tutorials I made, but they're still quite straightforward. So, also, no code that you have to write. I wrote everything for you. You can just copy paste from my website. So, should be quick and easy. Okay, so we start off with this very basic scene, as always. And we have a kind of an enemy running around here, and we have a gun that moves when I click the mouse button. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, check out my tutorial on animation. I link that down below. And what I want to do is I want to add some lasers in here. So let's do that. Okay, so first things first, you want to go to wherever your gun is. In my case, that's Achtonik, which uh, is apparently how you call guns today. So what you want to do is, first thing, you want to add uh, the point where the lasers will come out. This cannot be my gun because this moves up and down and I want it to be shooting out of one specific point, not like, you know, somewhere somewhere else. So let's create a empty, call that, I don't know, muscle or muscle flash, then drag that outside of your gun so it's not on that gun anymore. Go to your scene mode, and now what you want to do, you want to align it to wherever you want the laser to shoot out. So let's drag that kind of here. This looks about right. Okay, so you have that line here. Also, make sure that you fix the rotation. So you want the rotation to be zero, zero, zero on all scales. That's fine now. After you have done that, you want to add a script to this so that there will actually be particles shooting out of there. So uh, I already wrote that script. It's quite a bit of code, so I don't really want to take the time and code it all while filming it. So I just put that whole script on my website, which is called firemindacademy.net, and you can check it out in the description below. We have all the code there, you can just go ahead and copy paste it from there and then you should end up with the code that I have right here. Let's go through this code very briefly. Uh, basically what we want to do is we have a... In the update function we check if the left mouse button is pressed, if that is the case, check if the user is actually allowed to shoot again. We set like a little time difference that has to pass before the user can shoot again. And when that happened, sh uh, called the shoot array function, which shoots the actual laser. Uh, this one just updates the new timestamp. So in the ray function, we do a ray cost. And in that, you know, it's a basic ray cost function. We just define the ray we want to use, the object that it returns when it hits something, and uh, how far the ray actually goes. Um, in here, we then instantiate the actual laser, which I will add in a second. And if that doesn't hit anything, uh, we destroy it. We also set uh, the target for the laser. So I just commented it out because I had it in already. So shot behavior is not there yet. That's not a problem. We will fix that uh, by adding the actual laser. And yeah, we're setting the target here. So the laser actually moves towards the, the, the point that we hit with the ray cost. Okay, so now let's actually add that laser in. So go back here and uh, what do you want to do? You want to go to the asset store and find volumetric lines. It's completely free, which is good because we, you know, we've Unity people. We don't have any money. That's why we use Unity. So go ahead and download or import that. Once you have imported that, you can find the volumetric lines here. Go to example scenes and then example prefabs. And here you can find the shoot prefab. First things first, what do you want to do? Click the prefab. And then in your scene view, you can see that you can't see anything. Now, as you can see here, there might be nothing in here because and that's because we have a little error here. So to fix that, just go into Raygun, Raygun script 
and here you can comment out this line which is causing the error then hit save and usually what should happen is the uh the ray will reappear okay now we have that ray as we can see it's pretty big we probably don't want it to be that big so let's change these values in the inspector here what we want to do first is let's scale it down a bit so let's just use the scale tool for this scale it to i don't know whatever fits your scene your scene might be a different size so you just got to play with around with that later also i want to adjust uh, uh how how bright that is and yeah um that those are the first few presets that we want to set up and then we want to go to the shoot behavior script click on edit script and you find this very basic script that comes with this prefab uh, we want to replace it with our own script uh, i have that script as well on my website again firemindacademy.net and there you can copy the code the exact link for the uh, for the code is in the description so i'm just gonna paste that in and as you can see it has exactly the same name but it has a few extra extras in here so let's go over that briefly um what we want to do is we want to call the move towards function with the target that we got from our ray gun, which I mentioned earlier. We also want to check if the target is actually set. And um, if we're already at the position, uh, we want it to explode. I'm going to get to that later. So that's pretty much the explosion that occurs whenever the laser hits something. If that's not the case, if it's not there yet, uh, move it towards the position which the raycast has hit. Um, yeah, in the ex the explosion is basically like in my other tutorial about explosion exploding part uh, exploding projectiles. So we just instantiate a particle system which simulates a explosion, and then we destroy the actual laser, and a second later we destroy the explosion itself. Now we want to tie all of this together. What we have to do for this is we go back into our scene. So up here we're in the prefab still. I'm going to go to our scene and then on the muscle we have um, the, the spot where you want to drag the shoot prefab. So drag that in. Also add a shoot rate of 1.0 so we don't shoot like 10 lasers at, one time, at a time. And this should maybe actually already work out so let's check that out see here and as we can see we are already shooting lasers however these are not really moving and that's because we have not set a speed so go back into the shoot prefab and in here on the shoot behavior you want to give this maybe like a 700 we commented out this line so you want to give that comment that back in um, and then once you hit play again you can see that the lasers are now already shooting out and we're pretty much halfway done so as you can see these lasers are not yet exploding that's because we did not assign an explosion yet so let's quickly do that let's click on our prefab here again and then here in the, sh in the collision explosion we want to assign an explosion um, you can pretty much assign any explosion you want um, I have one that's called something, oops, something with cold. So explode cold, I think that was from some asset pack, I'm not really sure anymore, but you can just use the standard explosion from the standard asset, it doesn't really matter, it just has to be like some particle system that you want to instantiate there. So I'm going to use explode cold, and now it should already give me a pretty decent kind of result as you can see it looks pretty good um, however the laser doesn't really fit the color of the explosion so let's quickly fix that as well let's go back into the prefab let's rotate that back I rotated that early it doesn't really matter which rotation it is um, so let's go in here and what we want to do is want to uh, change the light to blue um, so that's only the light and then we want to uh, edit that material as well. Look for it here. Shoot mat, and then we're gonna give this a bluish kind of color as well. Oop. Save, hit save, and you can see this turns into blue. And now we end up with 
this lovely effect of a blue laser resulting in a blue kind of explosion. Pretty sweet. Uh, I'm gonna use that for my Steam game that I'm about to create. Uh, I'm gonna make a development block for that. If you are interested in that kind of stuff, check it out. Otherwise, have a good day and enjoy making Star Wars lasers. If you like this tutorial, please consider leaving me a like. If you have any questions, ask me uh, in the comments below. And if you want to see other tutorials, can't find the tutorial you are looking for? Well, just ask for it then. Just go to tutorial-request.com and check out if other people are searching for the same tutorial as you do. If you find a matching request, make sure to leave it a like, so other creators always know what's in demand. And if you can't find a request that you are looking for, just create a new one. Simply click on New Request, then choose a title, topic and description for your request and simply click on Make Request and you're done. It's that easy. And with your request, you help creators know what's in demand. So go over to tutorial-request.com and sign up today. It's free.